Hello guys, welcome back. Now in this tutorial, we are going to create an SFDX project and we'll also set up our scratch org. So first thing we need to do is we need to go to the terminal window and open a new terminal. And we're going to use this terminal window to enter our commands, but we will also have another option called through the command palette where all you need is you can just go ahead and instead of remembering all the commands, you can call the commands through the command palette. So first we are going to use this terminal window to create a SFDX project and set up our scratch orgs. And then once everything you have an overview of this common commands, then, then we will switch to the palette. So the first command that we will enter is SFDX force colon project colon create. So whenever you're writing a command, this is going to be the pattern. So force is the namespace, project is the topic. Topic you can think like it's a category of commands. And under this project category, there is a command called create. So what it does it, if you reverse it, it'll say we are creating a project. And what is the name of the project? You have to use a parameter called dash n. And then here you're going to provide the name of the project. So let's say the name of the project is LWC tutorials. This is the name of my project that I'm creating and hit enter. So what this will do is it will create a project under this root directory, which is the same C users Kana, and it will create in directory. So let's go ahead and take a look at the directory that it created. So if I go here under this folder, you will see a directory got created called LWC tutorials. And these are the different files that it has created for us just by writing the single command. So let's go ahead and open this folder here. So we'll go and we'll select our folder. So C drive users Khan and here we'll open up our LWC tutorials, select the folder. Now next step is to authorize our dev hub org so we can use the org to create a scratch org and manage it. So in order to do that, the command that we have is, so let's open a terminal window again and the command is sfdx force colon auth so it's an author authorized command web colon login and we'll provide the alias lwc dipika this is the alias for our dev hub org and making it as a default org so here force is the namespace auth is the topic dash a is the alias for the dev hub org and dash D is setting the org as the default org. So let's go ahead and hit enter. So what will it do is it will go ahead and open our Salesforce dev hub. So it's ask you for the username. So we'll go ahead and provide the username. The username is Deepika LWC1 at mytutorialrack.com and then password. Verification code, let's go ahead and provide the verification code. Go ahead and provide it and hit the verify. And it is asking you, the Salesforce CLI is asking you to access the information. So this is basically we are authorizing our dev hub org. And once we have authorized, then we will be able to create our scratch orgs through the command line interface. So let's go ahead and hit the allow here. So this is done. So going back to our Visual Studio, we have authorized the dev hub. Now the next step is to create our scratch orgs. So before we do that, we need to make a small change to the scratch org configuration file. So here go to config and there is this scratch org configuration file. Go ahead and open that file. And uh, after features, add a new property here, or we can say an attribute called has sample data and set the value of this to true. Okay, so the sample data is available. So this is, you have to set it to true. Now it is saying the SFDX successfully authorized this Tipica LWC tutorial. This is the org ID. And now we can close the browser if you want. Okay, so now if you close the browser 
Now, so what we have done is we have successfully authorized, we have added this attribute in this project.scratch definition file. And now what we're going to do is we will create our scratch org. Now, in order to create the scratch org, the command is sfdx force colon org. Org is the topic create. So we are creating a new org here. And the alias is lwc scratch one. So this is the name for the scratch org. The duration, so as I mentioned, every scratch org has an expiration. So duration is 30 days. And then the configuration file location is config slash project scratch dash definition dot JSON. So this is going to be the way to create a scratch org. So let's go ahead and uh, hit enter here so it has created the successfully created the scratch org for us now the next thing is we need to set up this org as a default org so how we will do it i'm going to use a command palette and i'm going to go ahead and uh, set a default org so i'm going to use this command palette because i don't remember the command so it's sfdx set a default org it is asking me out of which one, which, which org to set as a default org. So this is the scratch org, LWC scratch one. So this is the org that I wanted to set it up as default. So I'll select that one. And it is going to set up this org as the default scratch org. So now all is done. Now let's go ahead and open the scratch org. So there are two ways. Either we can use the command palette, control shift P, and we can say open the default org or the option is we can say sfdx force colon org colon open. So that is another way of opening the scratch org. So it will open the default org here. So it's very important to set up a default scratch org. So what will happen is it will open up in your browser window. So this is our scratch orgs. Now we have created a scratch org, we have set up a project. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look at some more commands in the next tutorial. Thank you.